everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and today I'm doing this because I received this. This guy who's been way too long in uh, vehicle mode um, because I don't know why. Uh, oh yeah, six gun was sitting on top of him uh, in a kneeling pose. So yeah, uh, one of my earliest biggest uh, big expenses back when I thought that um, you know a leader uh, price was expensive, and now these days, yeah spending a lot on leaders but yeah no i love this more than i didn't get the kingdom mold because i'm very satisfied with this one and i think the kingdom mold is crap although i will attempt to get the um shattered glass version uh, if if evil if he becomes available at the gamestop because that's where in canada most of the asbro pulse exclusive stuff ends up but um, it, uh, we didn't get uh, a couple of figures from Shattered Glass, which is upsetting and annoying, because if I want to get them, I need to go on Azro Pulse and pay thousands of shipping. So I don't feel like it. So, But I'm hoping that uh, the Siege Ultra Magnus will be available uh, at GameStop. Uh, not Siege, Shattered Glass. Uh, so yeah, but I love this alt mode. The truck mainly is better. The trailer is, you know, can't fit a car in there so it's kind of useless but uh, he still looks really good he looks Cybertronian enough and I'm uh, I'm excited to see what uh, Toy Hacks does with uh, this guy and as usual I didn't take uh, uh, an extensive look at the, uh, the details on the Toy Hacks website I like to be surprised a little more so I'm looking forward to this guy so we're gonna roll the intro and take a look at this guy but before I do Please check out the voice acting playlist that I have on my channel, something uh, I put a lot of effort into and I'm very proud of. And also check out, uh, at the end of the video, you'll get the 10% discount code for my sponsor, DJC Collectible. So without further delay on my part, uh, let's roll the intro and get this show on the road. in the galaxy well it's been a while since i transformed him so that was pretty fun uh but he's uh, getting a little loose because uh he, you know i i when i got him i played a, a lot more with him and uh yeah the hip joints are getting a little loose so i'm gonna have to get out the kiki but i love this figure he's one of the biggest i have uh he's one of the earliest uh leader class i got because i was a fan of ultra magnus growing up and uh, I still am. He's a. Uh, I, I think in the show he got really screwed, but eh, it, you know, it's it's different continuity. But I love this version of Ultra Magnus. Uh, I think I prefer the Cybertronian look uh, that he has. Actually, I don't think I know because I hated the Kingdom mode. And uh, yeah, so uh, fully uh, transformed. He's uh, it's pretty epic, honestly. Uh, I know there's upgrade kits and everything, but and I don't mind. The battle damage and all of that so but i'm looking forward to see what uh the uh, the decals are going to do for him uh there's this piece here which looks similar to the uh windows here so i don't know if this is going to go over it or if this these are two alternates uh if this is an alternate i'm definitely going to go with these windows and uh, this is going to be i don't know put into for auction there's lots of decals mostly uh uh, windows are something I'm looking forward to it. This looks to be grills, uh, grill parts, maybe, I don't know. Like I said in previous video, I don't check toy hacks uh, uh, in details. I just take a quick look. Yes, I'm interested by it. And then I, you know, I want to be surprised a little bit uh, as to where they go. And sorry about the ring light because this is all fall backing. So it's really reflective, but looking really good. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to send him to the paint shop and uh, see how he comes out. Rodimus is missing a few chips. Nah, I was the same way until I got blown apart a few times. And he's back from the paint shop. And honestly, uh, in um, robot mode like this, uh, not much to look at. Like, not that much improvement. Uh, but, you know, there's only a couple leftovers. Uh, 
They gave you extra for the arm pads, uh, which are, well, I'll show you in a second. I actually broke one here. It split when I was removing it, so grateful for that. And you see all those little dots here? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you where, where that came from. Fun times. And I have leftovers for the uh, robot, uh, well, the white prime uh, shoulders, uh, because I chose one that were here with the uh, Autobot symbol. So I'll show you in a minute. So yeah, and the window looks pretty good. So in robot mode, you have uh, over here, that translate from the, uh, actually no, that's, it doesn't translate from the trailer because that's upside down in robot. So they added those little pads here, which are really nice uh, steel plates. Uh, you have this part here, like I said, that's the one that I broke, uh, one over each arm. And there was nothing for this gun here because as i said i think toy hacks maybe at this at that time they didn't uh, promote their armory or they didn't have it but this gun and uh, it's it's uh, right counterpart uh they both have this come on zoom in they both have uh, the silver highlight and the uh, energy bar here for the uh, the bullets that's what i'm assuming it is so you have that so that's pretty pretty neat of toy hacks to do that and then for the oh i didn't put them on but the shoulder missiles you have that little red eye light now so that's pretty good all right you have you see here it's mirroring so basically uh you know what i'll what, give me a second we'll finish this uh you have the belt who's been uh, actually that's the wrong belt so nothing for this belt and i'll show you you have those uh, little highlights you actually have 16 of those totals you only use eight but uh, they're really uh, small and they don't glue that well until you warm them up. But after they're warmed up, they're pretty good. And then you have this, this and this, which translate from uh, the trailer mode. And also this from the trailer mode. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, the, the uh, Ultra Magnus uh, robot mode. Oh no, you have that those black stripe here. And actually, I don't know why you, you would have black stripe here. Maybe it's from the show, not the G1 one, um, but maybe the Netflix one. I don't know. I just, they look okay. They just, don't, I don't find them that useful. But uh, do I want to, okay, I'm going to remove everything. Um, actually, no, I'm just going to remove this part here. I want to show you. Okay, so basically you have this mirroring here inside because basically you, you put the steel plates here which will show properly in out mode but you glue them over clear plastic and then it gives you that shine so yeah so let me remove all the armor and then show him uh, completely in uh, white prime mode possibly but i wouldn't wish to wager on it <laughs> Without armor, uh, he's uh, well a white prime, and I have to say I've never been a big fan of the the white prime. Or no, I've never been a fan of the idea that Ultra Magnus is a white prime wearing armor. I always think that you know it's he's just transforming this way, and it was a good tool back then for Hasbro to have reuse the prime mold and do uh, Ultra Magnus with it. Absolutely, I think that's. You know, business-wise, it makes sense. But as a character, I prefer that the Ultra Magnus just transforms as, you know, from robot to, uh, to truck or truck to robot without wearing any armor. He's just, that's just him. But at the same time, I'm a strong believer that Dion from Wardon was rebuilt as Ultra Magnus. So maybe the armor does fit. It's, um, it, and I prefer the, the, the non-armor version. Uh, where, you know, he's just transforming into Ultra Magnus without putting on any uh, pajamas. So let's just take a quick look. He, you know, he's not the Siege mold. He's not the Earthrise mold. He's just a new mold with a head that looks like Prime. That's pretty much it. I mean, the, uh, yeah, pretty much everything is different. Uh, there's no similarities in the transformation. He just happens to be the same size and has a head sculpt. Maybe there is some parts being retooled. So yeah, next step is, well, yeah, the decals. I've computed our trajectory. We are due to impact with an object 200,000 kilometers away. And now let's do a side-by-side. -side. 
so that you can see the window decals uh, are pretty amazing so basically i thought it was either one or the other but i was wrong so basically what you do is that you have the the cell shade look that you glue first here and behind the arm and then after that you apply uh, the white stripe and this basically uh, in in between the white it's actually clear clear decals basically so that looks really good so you have the the it gives an awesome look with the the, the white trim and the wiper blades so that's that's pretty amazing and uh, it, uh, it it's going to translate super well in alt mode you see uh, for the face you get extra ear decals i guess uh faceplate which i don't know i'm not too fond of it it's it's not quite it doesn't fit super nice uh but i'm not gonna display them like that so i guess that's okay uh the interior of the arm gets the silver lining uh, but that's actually more for the alt mode uh you have decals here for the arms uh the belt uh gets five decals here that's a very good enhancement and then the legs, they have those little silver plates here and this one here. And I think that looks pretty good. And then you have, you know, for the shins, you have this uh, little lights. But uh, that's uh, mostly for uh, cab mode. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So that's the white prime. He, I think he gets, uh, of the two robot mode, he gets the most. Uh, like I said, there was an option for uh, those shoulder decals without uh, the Autobot logo, but I didn't want that. It's a good set and it really does enhance this uh, white prime look. So now let's take a look at him in alt mode. <laughs> in vehicle mode, right out of the box, he's fantastic already, except maybe the trailer, like I said, should uh, fit a car. You can put a couple on top. And uh, the rest of the truck is fantastic. Love the windows, but I'm hoping that uh, the windows with the decal sets are gonna make this even more amazing. So yeah, looking forward to it. Well, let's not wait. I'm just going to uh, apply the stickers on this guy and uh, get back to you. We should have been molten by now. What's going on up there? Sloppiness, disorganization, as I've tried to teach you, Undisciplined thinking can make even the simplest task impossible. All right, let's uh, try to do this uh, side by side. You can spot the difference pretty easily on this uh, version. Um, first thing, you have the window that translates from white prime mode. I hate saying that white prime mode because I don't want to say unarmored because I don't feel like it's an armor. Anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, you have this grill here, well not grill, but you know, enhancement here with the Autobot logo. Uh, that was uh, optional for some reason, uh, but there's no other one that goes there. Uh, you have uh, on top here, oh, let me clip that back, you have a new decal here, and this one here. Well, let's fade out the, uh, the image and get this one here. So you have this decal here, the window, you know, nothing for the headlights or anything, but they're pretty painted already. You have this silver line that goes here all the way to the back. It looks really good. You have a decal here to cover the joint. Well, not the joint, but uh, the pin. So that's pretty neat. Same thing on the other side. This translates from, uh, well, it's the same mode. You have all of this white stuff here. That white paint goes all around in here. Looks really good. That really breaks the plain dark blue of the trailer. So I really like this part. And then you have the top where you have, uh, well, as we saw earlier, the steel plates all over the, the top of the car carrier mode. Hmm, I shouldn't call him that because you can carry car with it. And then in the back, you have uh, the tail lights uh, all around. So that's a very, very good, and the windows, oh, look at that. That's again, this is the same thing as here. Two decals, uh, one clear with white trim uh, above the cell shaded one. Well, that's fantastic. And the only thing that ever bugs me with this is that when he's transforming, if you want the wheels here to touch and roll, you have to push down on the cab like it doesn't stay together. So that's the only QC I have with this guy. But overall, very pleased with this. And that's how I display him these days. I don't display him in robot mode uh, because I actually put a couple of figures on top because I'm running out of space. 
Uh, so I have six gun and I think RC uh, are you know kneeling and riding him as they're shooting. So, but that's uh, that's gonna be it for the review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this took me a long time to do this one because of oh yes, before we go, you see all these little red dots here, those rivets here, and here. And here, yeah, that's not paint. That's hole that you have to punch each time. And they stick together. Sometimes they slide under the decal and you have to prime them off. And it's super annoying. Like those little marks are really hard to, you know, get out of the way. But it does look riveted, you know. So it looks like it, the, the, the white is pinned down there. It's, I don't know. The steel plate with the, the little rivets looks really good. So, okay. So now it's the final dots. I love this figure. And I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.